Don't you? Yes. Yes, of course. Of course. Come. I'd love to have a play look. Give me a fresh light, please. A uh, flashlight? Hmm, my flashlight. Give me my flashlight. I wish to illuminate my own illumination. Yes. But to recognize them in the dark, that means you got my point. My whole point. Factual tachotility. You're a mess, madam. Mm, you do. Who knows? You may even be able to appreciate my bad instruction. Tacto factuality. Of course, why not? You are the genius creator, I am a genius creating. We are made for each other. Steady here now, I will make a few sculpture soul and the muscles power and beauty. <coughs> Simple, uh, but not simple minded. Ingenious, but not ingenious. Of how many body words can we select? Good people? Oh, well, not actually. Not at all, I'd say. Oh, I hope I do not lecture. It is a fault with me. Oh, good gracious. Certainly not. I can listen all night. It's absolutely profound. Um, well, it certainly gives you something to think about, I must say. I'm afraid I don't know much about it, madam. But it's a great honor to listen to you. Well, well, well. I have to say, this boy is a genius, a master of the miniature. You should charge in a song for words like this, Mr. Miller. They should be very, very expensive. Uh, this one, for example, how much is this? Uh, 50. 500 pounds. Ah, so very cheap. Cheap? I think so, Mr. Gorich. So, what do you have in it? Me? Aren't you rest your thing just so you have done? Perhaps you would like to see the rest of my work. The rest of your work? Alas, I have no more time to read your copy present. But alas, I must work. Also, a small says this girl. It is sufficient to collect her milk and honey. One does not have to wall it down. Well, well, well. Well, would you like it in? Very much. For 500 pounds? Certainly, if I had it. According to the Apple Times, you must be worth at least 70 million pounds. <laughs> the Apple Bears are not directly ill informed. According to my state bank statement, I was worth 100 pounds and 84 pence. You mean you've gone broke? Uh, no, I mean I never had any more. Look, man, I know many years are supposed to be eccentric, but this is getting tiresome. Daddy, shh. Me, me, Dennis? Who do you think I am? Damn it, man, you must know who you are. Miss Sabina, is this some kind of joke you like to play? Uh, excuse me, that's not my name. It is a... Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> my name is Ayegra. Alana Ayegra. Born in Sevilla, 1975. Student of philosophy at Barcelona, 2004. My pressure to this country, 2008. Regular employment ever since with the London Electricity Board. <gasps> Of course it's not! But who did you imagine I was? How dare you! Oh, please! <laughs> Come down here, 
giving us the lecture about demons and virgins, and you're just sitting here, simply here to make a few I agree with you, sir. It's my service. Shit. <laughs> it You come in here, pretending to be dead, and proceed to her right game pair, unasked and uninvited. Excuse me, but I was invited. Don't answer back. In my days, you'll be found in this spot for everything. <laughs> That is absolutely right. Some people think they can behave exactly as they want. Man, where can I show this for a tour of work? Yes, the men's are in the cellar. There's a big door. Do you mind? <coughs> oh. <laughs> Shit! Shit! Hotel! Holy! Where should I mind? It's what I can, after all. Huh. And now, there is a really beautiful chair. No, why don't you just go into the cellar? Ah, oh, we're easy. Darling, will you open the back door? Me? The furniture. Oh, yeah. Here. I will say that's very gallant of you, Mila. Ah, oh, I've got a sudden touch of one babes. You often afflicts me after long spells in the dark. Oh, darling, has it come back? I'm afraid it has. My sweet. Here, love me. I'm not as afraid as a well team friend. Well, down to go. You. So, farewell. I live a life of art for the dark of the sands. Let's have a last of your dip, shall we? Excuse me. <laughs> Hello? 
Yes. <laughs> Could happen in this, Mrs. Honey. What on earth are you doing up there? Uh, I just gave you a bad joke of the tally, sir. <laughs> At this time of night? Uh, better than never, sir. As they say, I know how like a pattern to be nice when you're giving one of parties. Uh, yes, of course. Where did you come, madam? Uh, just a few minutes ago, sir. I didn't like to disturb you, so I just come here. Would you, is that you pouring all the water on us then? Water? Good heavens, I must have said something. It's as black as Newgate that I'm here. Mr. Miller, are you playing one of the saucy games? Mrs. Pony, we've had a few. It's all over the house. Oh, a few. I thought it might be one again your dog, sir. So I think it's your Piccadilly, that kind of any general sweet sir. I know you're rather partial to kinky games, Mr. Miller. So I just wonder. <laughs> It is a fuse, Mrs. Pony. The man is mended now. The light will be up any minute. Oh, that will be a relief for you, won't it? Yes, of course. Now, why don't you just go on home? I'm sorry I couldn't come before, sir. I was delayed. You see, my rust has been taken quite again. I quite understand. <sighs> It's a tummy. There's a lump of their belly button. The size of a uh, grapefruit. Oh, oh, how nasty. Oh, holy Rossi, I say it all this evening. I say, there's no good thing much, my girl. You're going to the hospital for a thick more morning and getting yourself ultra violent. Look, hadn't you better be getting back to your poor little Rossi? She must need your shoey. And there's really nothing you can do here tonight. Are you sure of that, sir? <laughs> Positive, thank you. Well, I know what this room can be after one of your evenings. A juicy caravan, isn't it? Two battles, oh, the fourth. Ross and Penny say, and God knows what in the. This is what you to say, man. You don't know. When you're in the presence of Mr. Miller's fiance. Fiance? Yes, and I'm her father. Well, I never. <laughs> oh, Mr. Miller, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Fiance, <laughs> oh, sir, you never told me. I was keeping it a surprise. Well, I never. Oh, how lovely. May I kiss you, sir, please? Yes, of course. Oh, sir. So please for you. And for you, Miss too. Thank you. And for you, sir. Thank you. You must be Miss Clea's father. Miss Clea? I don't understand. Well, I never. So, you got him at last. Well done, Miss Clea. I never thought you would. Not after four years. Four years? No, no. Forgive me, sir, if I speak it out of turn, but it must have been four years is a long time to be calling one woman. Four days really the bit now, nice. Mrs. Polly, please. Well, it's been all that and them already, hasn't it? And of course, it just in time. It was getting a bit of a feeling about it now. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's why you pop the questions. Of course, it's not. Mr. Miller's always been stuck at you. He told me so that one week ago. <laughs> Mrs. Parnett. Mrs. Parnett, as far as comes to the key the rest of them, Miss Korea will always be on top of the hip for me. Oh, I say. Then how about a table tablet? 